football, you wear your shirt with pride. You're supporting England. That's the whole point of buying the shirt. You've got the St. George's Cross. You're playing England. You're watching England. You love England. You're proud of them. And yet all of a sudden, they've changed it. For what reason? It's, it's nuts. It's completely bonkers. Leave the flag alone. Tom, you can still love England. You can still love your game, but you have to progress. I think this is a really great strip. It's progressive. This is not just for England. It's 14 other countries have been working with Nike to create this kit for different countries, which are for the women's team, the men's team, and also uh, other teams as well. So it's really important. I love it. You should love it. Everyone should embrace some change. Nick, mm. Nick can I say one thing, yeah? We wear our England badge with pride. Yes. If I went, right, Nick, from now on, your name's Barry. That's what they've just done. They've just changed it. It's not, you're not Nick anymore, are you? But they haven't it's done not, that. What they've yeah, done is yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. given it a little bit of a change, even in the press. Yes, people, what's good? Hey, what's good? What's good? Love. <laughs> Yo, we in the building, finally. We had some yeah, things to deal with. Sorry that we took so long. We had some technical difficulties. Yes, Kenny, finally, finally, we are here. And people, I hope you know it's not KG by now. You should know by now that it's not KG that does the good, bad, and ugly. If you don't know, now you know. It's Joe Black and Botswana Pappy, people. Oh, what are you saying? Come on, come on. This is the come good, on. the bad, the ugly, guys. You know what it is. Every Saturday, you know, you should expect an episode from us. And, um, yeah, shout out to KG. Hit the like button if you like KG. It, you know, even if you don't like the show. But big up to you, Big Omar. Happy Saturday, fam. Hope that you're doing good. Welcome to the, the show, right? <laughs> Pam, oh, Pam, Pam, I swear, Pam, I swear, I swear, Pam, I swear to God, Pam. you better shut up. Do you know what, Pav? Do you know what? One thing I do want to get your opinion on is what you think is going to happen with um, good old Ten Hag. Hmm? You tell me. Hmm? That's what I really want to know. How do you feel? Do you want? Do you want this guy? Hold on. You know what? This, this is a perfect segue, actually. Yeah. Do you want this guy as our new manager? Oh my God! Ooh, no, 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 no! no. <laughs> this guy, after that performance that we just saw, is this is this the guy? <laughs> this. Hold up, Minnesota! Come here! Come here! Hey, you! Come here! Come here, Punk Beach! No, let's go. This guy <laughs> is this the guy that we want to see at our club? What? Running Man United. Is this the person? Talk to me, yes. boss. Joe, Joe, play, play the sounds that pertain to Gareth Southgate that you have, brother. I'm not playing the first. I have. I don't. No, no, no. It's the first one I played. Was this one? <laughs> I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna play this one again. Donkey. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, honestly, oh, what man. do you think of Gareth as a manager? I know you're, I know you're a foreigner. Yeah, I know you probably don't really support England like that. No, yeah. bro, England. Let me tell you my access point to England real quick. By the way, shout out to all the English reckless delegates. But you know, I'm Botswana puppy. You know, I'm from Botswana. You know, ask Pav. And um, and and the thing is, like. English, uh, the English colonized Botswana. So I'm like coming from the standpoint of like, <laughs> the colonizers must fall. <laughs> you know, so so I'm really anti England progressing. But here's the thing, Joe. As a Manchester United fan, though, you have to kind of um, now want Gareth Southgate to stay in that England job, you know. If 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 he wins the Euros, then maybe maybe he they'll keep him so that like they might think he might win the World Cup, you know, and that keeps him busy over there. But we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll get deep into that. But like, if you uh, did you watch the 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 Brazil the Brazil uh, the the England Brazil game at all today? Do you know what? I was on and off. It was so boring. I couldn't be bothered to watch most of it. I'm not even going to lie to you. Best. Exactly. Yeah. And I was watching your stream more than I was watching the actual match. That's the truth. Yeah. Clap <laughs> <laughs> well, hands for Joe. That is the truth. Yes, yes, yes. No, That's no, 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 no. The no. match was boring. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, what, what, what do you see from a Gareth Southgate team, bro? What? No, I'm yeah, asking you. I'm literally asking you. What do you see from a Gareth Southgate team? Because you had to sit there and endure that whole match, yeah, because he was doing a watch along, yeah. So I did a watch along, right? Here's what I'm gonna give him, like. This time around, it wasn't necessarily like sit back. There was not, there was not um, um, park the bus kind of Gareth Southgate. They actually did have a few shots on target. They had a few like moments where they threatened Brazil. But honestly, Brazil at the end of the day were the one that deserved to win. They even hit, Brazil hit the post. You know, Brazil had b- bigger chances created. So, so Gareth Southgate like. I'd say in the beginning of the first half, right, they, both teams, you could see that they wanted to win, but it had that international friendly vibe of like nobody was putting more than 90%. It was Nobody 80%. wants to get injured. How about that, yeah? No. This you is know, another thing, but, by the way, yeah. But, this is another but, subject that I was going to put in the good, bad and ugly this week, yeah? What is the point of these goddamn internationals in the middle of season? Get out of right here, man. You know what I mean? It's of them. What's the point of them? about it, and it's a, you know international friendly. It's, it's so so. It was just such a such a you know snooze festival. But I wanted to say on the subject of injuries, Kyle Walker, his left hamstring looked like it was having some complications. So you know that's going to be very interesting to see because Ars- Arsenal is around the corner versus Manchester City. Manchester City have to play. Um, Real Madrid at the Bernabeu and you know if you know Kyle Walker's hamstring you gotta guys Manchester City fans gotta start praying for Kyle Walker's hamstring you know <laughs> hey listen here I'll tell you about listen I don't care about Kyle Walker yeah I pray yeah. for Man City's downfall yeah there's yeah. so much you know what yeah there's actually so many subjects I wanted to put in the bad and the ugly section this week yeah that I, yes. that I didn't have enough I didn't have enough space we should have good bad ugly Almost ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the we can have, yeah. Like, because do you know yeah. what, yeah? Yeah, we should have, like a hideous section as well. Because I swear to god, yeah, yeah. We were, um I was reading about Man City also, um, mm-hmm. and they 115 charges, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was hearing that they're gonna be the the that the um the date's been set already for the hearing, but we've not we don't know when it is. Yeah, it was set in January. And we're not going to know the conclusion until 2024. Yeah. Sorry, 2025, I think it is. Sorry. Yeah. We ain't going to know yeah. the conclusion. Till. So, not until next season will we know the conclusion of this year's case. Yeah. So, Man City, you're really pushing it out. And you know what I feel? I feel they're going to lose. They're going to lose their manager because he said if they're found guilty of anything, he's gone. Oh, he did say that. We will be there. We will be there for that. Like, <laughs> if, if that. Here's the thing, out of 115, right, of course, some of them are repeated, um, the charges that are sort of like the same charge that's repeated over a couple of seasons and stuff. But out of 115, if 30 could stick, 30, Joe, 30. Bro, I, I'm 30. 30 right now. Yeah, yeah, Man City are getting charged with something. Yeah, and I don't know, the same article, the same article I was reading was telling me that they're going to be. It's them and Chelsea that are maybe pushed out of the Premier League if they're found guilty. So, you know what? Listen, listen, I'm here for it. I'm definitely we'll be here, here for, for that one, man. Yo, yo, uh, anyway. yo, yo. Yes, yes, yes. That's 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 a um, finally financial fair play police. It just looks like they've been slapping around Nottingham Forest and Everton and not caring about Manchester City and 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 Chelsea. So that that for me is comforting to hear that. So I guess that could have been go- gone under the category of good, you know, you know. So big up to everybody. Yo, big up to people that are tuned in. The Renegade, shout out to you, fam. Shout out oh, to hold you. On, hold on. Read this comment first before you start bigging people up. Wait, Jonathan Hernandez, we <laughs> gotta talk. <laughs> I bet you call him. Can we you play that other you. sound for Jonathan? No, uh, which hey. one? No, 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 which one? Hey. I'll tell you which one. This, this is for him. So, I don't care. 
<laughs> How about that, Jonathan? Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, oh, I'm definitely okay. not innocent, Jonathan. I have to disagree with you, brother. So, but we'll put the link in the chat so that we come and talk about it. Let us know how M Manchester already City. It. It's called. already in the chat already. Still, yeah. We come already on. have a caller in here already waiting, waiting in the sidelines. Um, but let's hit up the the. That was the. Hold on. What was that even? That was the bad, was right? So we, no, that was the ugly. We started with Southgate. And of course, that's ugly, yeah? Him coming to Man United. Are you stupid? We didn't even speak on it properly, yeah? Him coming to Man United is stupid, yeah? If you're going to take that over Ten Hag, I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> Where do I go with this, bro? Yeah? It is a stupid conversation. I hope it's not true. And if Ineos want to lose the fan base, well, at least half of the fan base, if not most of the fan base, by hiring Gareth Southgate, then go ahead, because that's what will happen. I can't understand if this is a real conversation or not, but the amount of traction that's been getting in the media, I feel like we need to address it. So that's the reason that it's been the ugly this week. But what do you feel, bro? Just quickly so we can move on to the next one. Exactly. I I thought it's like the biggest, like April, how do you say April Fool's joke before? Like, how do you pull an April Fool's joke before April? That's pretty and much how I just want to summarize <laughs> it. It's it. The, these people that um, I mean, uh, uh, credit to Gareth Southgate. He shut down the rumors and said, you know, those rumors are not, you know, real rumors. And also, you know, people try to pontify and say, oh yeah, Dan Ashworth links, Omar Barada links, man. Get out of here with man. that stuff. I'm talking to you, Ian Wright, Roy. Even you know, I was so disappointed, bro, to hear Roy Keane also you know, uh, uh, feeding this Southgate Kool-Aid to us as well. He was kind of like talking like he's considering it. But talk sport as well. You guys, you guys are definitely 007 agents. You got to make sure. And, and, and Sky Sports News, you know, like them guys are just like, they gave this, this story too much traction. It was the ugliest thing of the week. So that's all I'm going to say about it, brother. 100%. Well, you know what? All right, then. Moving on. Do you want to... No, I'm going to keep with the bad stuff. So, you know, the bad this week, yes. the bad this week was this. Oh, uh, no, this is what we started with. Actually. That's, yes. I'm, I'm That's the first clip you played. With. Let's oh, my, talk about oh, it. Oh, my God. Look at me. Look at me. You, you, you. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we started with, was the bad, not the ugly. But you know, yes, exactly. That's why, that's why we, we, we talked about the ugly. ugly. But you know, I don't even want to talk about it that much anyway. So you know what? That was actually pretty good because I want to get the lines open pretty early this week. I don't want to waste exactly. no time, yeah? We've got quite a few people yeah. waiting. And I know Pav's got to work early in the morning, so we've got to accommodate for the fans, yeah? All right, listen. Mm -hmm. Let's just go straight to the good because the good this week was this guy. Please! Don't play with me. Yes. Bad man. We have a sign yeah. our hands. Pardon me? We have a star in our hands. We have a generational talent that is has the potential to become like one of the best uh, CDMs we've seen in a long time in the Premier League. So big shout out to Kobe Maino. He's so he had a very positive you know cameo today versus um um uh brazil he he sent um that the brazilian guy i think what's his name um um gomez he sent joao gomez to the shops to go get groceries <laughs> because like in just one minute joe one minute into the game he just did a crazy turn and 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 you know just just also still kept his game simple you know the thing about kobe mayno that's so fascinating right now for me i just want to say is the fact that he he seems to get the right decisions he to make the right decisions at the in the right places you know when he's in defensive areas he keeps it very simple passes the ball back if there's no open passing lane and then when he tries a skill it's not usually in a very dangerous position so shout out to the kid man he looked good he's been looking good in a red shirt he looks even you know super mint with a white shirt so he's ready he's ready yeah. for the white shirt bro yeah i can't even lie to you yeah do you know what i was um 
apprehensive about letting him join the England team. And only for the yeah. same reason why the Arsenal players haven't joined the England team. Do you know what I mean? Because I want him to stay fit. I don't want nothing to happen to him. See, the same reason why Kyle Walker's limping off and we're, and we're celebrating is the same oh. reason why I didn't want Toby Maney to go to the England team. Yeah? No, that's, that's I can't a can't lie to you. Yeah. I do not want him to get injured. We can't afford no more injuries, especially because we know what we've been missing. Look at us before Kobe Mainu came into the team. The manager mm -hmm. clearly, the manager clearly planned for Kobe Mainu in this team this season. That's all I can say. Yeah. So it's, I yes, don't want to. Yes. I don't want to see the rest of the season out without Kobe Mainu. So please don't get injured while you're on England duty. The next game, they better take it easy on him too. Yeah. Yes. Let's get Pav in here, my brother. Let's get Pav in here and also yes, like here. Been waiting for a while. Pav, big up yourself, bro. How you doing, bro? What are you saying? Yo, man. Big up, Pav. Listen, I know it's late for us over here. It's like almost half 11 in England, people, by the way. But we're awake because I've got to accommodate for this man over here. Yeah, because he just doesn't want to wake up early in the mornings and do an early morning show instead. So I've got to do a late night show. Yeah. It is, <laughs> buddy. It is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> big Look, up, let's, let's just up. let's just start straight on Southgate. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I don't think I don't think oh, it's gonna it. happen. I just think the papers are just writing something, just just trying to gas this guy up. Like we already know that the English lot, yeah, are trying to get this guy into a top job that he doesn't deserve. You've been I'm in charge of England for how long? And you failed that the, every time when you've got to the point where you should have won a trophy, you failed. You've got all these players over, over the years and you've, and you've failed to cross the line. You don't deserve a job at Man United. Your, your managerial career in league football was Middlesbrough for three seasons and that is it. And then you went straight oh to England. Now I tell me, tell me yeah, in, the years, in the years we've all watched international football, how many managers... Have you international managers have you seen that have done well in league football? Other than maybe there's only two that come to my mind, yeah. Um, Del Bosque for Spain and Madrid and Roberto Mangini, and that is it. Which mm, other yeah, other managers who do who go from international football to having good careers in league football as a manager? Like that geezer just won the World Cup with Argentina. How many top clubs came in? To try sign that guy after in the World Cup with Messi, no one. He wasn't even touted. It's true. So why, why, why are we trying to go for that little West Coast merchant because he's got his name over a tube station? <laughs> for what reason? <laughs> I'm with you, hundred percent. Do you know what? This is one of the times that we agree. Yeah, because for me, I don't want to see Gareth Southgate anywhere near our team. Yeah, what is he offering? If you say that, if you say that, um, Ten Hagen got no style of play, what the hell does Gareth Southgate have? Nothing. The only reason he's doing good anyway is the amount of decent players that are in that England squad anyway. There is, tell, and, hey, we know for a, and, and we know for a fact we'll never have a full squad of so many ballers in our, in our team. So, what's this guy gonna do? Is he what's he gonna do? Give, give Harry Maguire a contract. That's that's the best thing that I see this guy doing. And that's sure, the worst thing that could happen for us. <laughs> nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think you'll, I don't think we'll, like Ratcliffe and Barada and Dan Ashworth. I don't, and I can't see them being that stupid to do this. And I'll, I'm, I'll be honest, it'll be down to like Barada and Dan Ashworth to make the managerial appointment, and they will have to like um, confer with Ratcliffe and the um, Dave. Um, Brails for and all that, but it's going to be down to them too. Because if it's not down to them too, what's the point of them two being it? It's their, it's their decision. Like if they're here to make football it matters, I can't see Barada coming from City and be like, "All right, let's go get this uh, waistcoat merchant, take him down to the to get him some new garments, put the Man United badge on it, and, and we're ready to go." Is that what we're doing? I don't think so. And I'll be honest, I'll, I'll put in the group chat, I'd keep Ten Hag all day... <laughs> Sorry. I'll keep Ten Hag all day long. Read it, read it. <laughs> I'll keep that guy all day long over a, a, a person like Southgate and even Darren, um, what's his name, Graham Potter. I don't want any of them to. 
and, 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 and you because we know we know how much Pav had doesn't like Ten Hag, you know. So, know so what, I know Pav Pav has put his money where his mouth is, yeah. And me and him have got yeah. a bit on for the pound for him to be. I here. still, I still it. think you're like obviously people keep talking about Ten Hag. He's he's they, there's like mixed stories coming out. I still think he's gonna go. I don't. I can't see it. There's, there's well, a chance. There's a there's a chance for a clean slate, but the man is. Ask you this question, you say it's not your job, yeah. But let me ask you this, fam. Who do you think they would replace him with? I don't mind the Zerbi. Uh, um, I don't mind the Zerbi. I like Inzaghi as well. Um, is obviously, the, no. obviously the, uh, Hansi Flick. Hansi Flick would be my number one. Han do like, this is is Ten Hag. Huh? Do you think the Zerbi is actually better than Ten Hag, fam? Like, Who's really the Zerbi? Yeah. Have, you, have, you seen, uh, have a go. Have a look at their head-to-head -head records in the Premier League. Not head to head, fam. And, and let's be honest, yeah. Let's be honest. Brighton, right Brighton's main aim, yeah, is to beef up these players and make a profit on them. They're not here to win titles. That's what people keep talking about. Like people big up Brighton, yeah, because of the, the way that they play, and then they're like up there and about, like um, going toe to toe with some of the big teams. But they're just there to like boost the players' um, value up, and and the Zerbi knows that. Because a lot of these players are gone within one to two years, they make a lot. They they gain a lot of revenue through these players. They're not there to challenge. They they're gonna. He's got a style of play. These players aren't ready. They're not ready to go toe to toe, and do it season in, season out. But if I I I give the Zerbi a chance, and I think he'll get he'll get offers from big clubs as well. Like the way that his philosophy yeah. is, he's like a no nonsense manager. What I thought Ten Hag would be, but. He's kind of like messed up a little bit, um, but my in, in order, I would go for Hansi Flick. Huh? He's been pretty no nonsense. What do you mean? You don't think he's been pretty no nah, nonsense? He's um, oh, I've seen him be too. He's been he's been he's been he's been, he's been, he's been no nonsense. I see, I see, I see, I see, let me tell you. Let me tell you something about Ronaldo. Yeah, for, yeah. for a player who's done what he has in his career, someone like Ten Hag disrespected him. If you speak to any other manager, yeah, you've I've heard managers come out, done interviews and stuff like that. They they will tell you. Jose Mourinho said it as well. You do not tell Ronaldo what to do when the yes. man's done what he's done, yeah. And Jose Mourinho has won everything there is, yeah, in league football, yeah. Gone toe to toe with the best managers, yeah. And then when you've got managers telling you that you don't tell someone like Ronaldo what to do. You respect the guy. Pochettino said the same. Roberto Martinez for Portugal right now has said the same as well. They're all taking little digs at um, Ten Hag for that. And the way that he's treated like certain players compared to like what's going on with Rashford, being more lenient with him. Yeah, I, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like mixed, I, I right? You kind of let the fan base down. But let me let me quickly tell you my order, yeah, for the uh, manager managers that I'd like to see. Hmm. Hansi Flick would be one. Second would be Inzaghi. Third would be the Zerbi. Uh, I don't mind the sporting manager, and I don't mind the Girona manager either. You said Flick, Inzaghi, and then the Zerbi, yeah? And so, then the other two would be the Girona manager. He's doing pretty well. I think they're kind of falling off a little bit, but he's still they're still there and about. So they'll probably get UCL. But with City and that, then what? One of them ain't gonna get it. So, and then obviously the sporting manager, he's doing pretty well still. Um, people will be in for him. They're they're the top five for me. And I, I don't, I don't. What do you mean? Nah, stop it. What are you talking about? Stop what? <laughs> There's yet tracking for the Zerbi, bro. Yeah. Go, like I said, go look at the head to head record. They weren't that. They weren't that long ago when we're getting slapped up at our own home ground by these man. Yeah. yeah? You know what? 100% true, but you know what? I have to disagree with you on some points there, Pav, because I feel like... I've seen I've seen Brighton go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I've seen Bright the Zerbi football going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool, slapping them up. The same with Arsenal going to their ground, slapping them up. When's the last time Ten Hag's gone? To, when's the last time Ten Hag went to a big six team and slapped them up at their ground? At their yeah. ground. Okay, I did. you had to add that in at the end, it? at their ground. All right, fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, but we'll see, in it? Time will tell. Yeah, I feel like our manager is still learning the league. Yeah, and Bro, he's been here two years. There's nothing to learn. I've yeah. he's been here two yeah. years. Yeah. I so should have. How long did it take? Long did still, it take the the best the game of football we've seen. When did Pep the, win his first title? Was it his second hold season? Hold on, fact? hold on. 
the 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 oh yeah by the way i need to call someone out in this in this thing before i go in it um the but the best style of the best football match i've seen in his two years that he's been here was that liverpool game on the weekend now if that's the best game i've seen because his job his job and the season was on the line yeah is that what it come down to that the fact that your job and the season was on the line for that performance yeah, yeah. tells me everything but like, like I said, I won't go back on my word. If the man gets top four and he gets FA Cup, I'll let him have his third season and then I'll go from there. But look, okay. there's um I don't know if he's gonna be in it, it might be late for a minute. But uh See. John Morgan in it said John. that we're gonna be challenging for the title next year with Ten Arg. Next year. I'm just saying it, in it. I normally don't I normally don't say stuff out that's in the group chat messages, in it, but this one's got to be said and someone's got to repeat it when K, uh, KG's on a stream as well. John Morgan that's has not it. once he doubled down and he's tripled down. He said we are going to challenge for the title next year. That's what he said. If it doesn't matter. He said he said Tenog's gonna challenge for the title. Bro, I'll tell we're you not this. even challenging. We're not even challenging for UCL football this year, but I we're going to challenge for the season. title next I year. Yes, I said next season. You see, the season after, if we keep Ten Hag for two seasons, I have said that we should be challenging for the title in two seasons if we let Ten Hag cook. That has been my take, but I didn't say next season. Nah, John, John Morgan. I doubt he's there. It's probably I, late for him, but yeah, this man says we're challenging, bro. So I've you know what I mean. Time. John Morgan has to, it's hard to try and like call a title uh challenge before you even know what the transfer situation looks like. That's that's the main thing. Like for me, nah, I he, he said it doesn't matter what happens, doesn't it? We're challenging next year, isn't it? Boy, hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man's, talk, man's, man's talking as if ten hogs like Moses out here or something. <laughs> been into that Bible too much. <laughs> Hey, Pam, listen, big up yourself, bro. Thanks for calling in, my brethren. <laughs> I am no, my no. God. What do you but, think about that? I see, I see, you see um, Kenny Fan TV's comment saying that, you know, nah, why is Pav twerking about Deserby? He has lost me. But oh, I yeah, see Pav's yeah. point of view about Deserby. Like, when you see how he plays versus, like, big teams, you can only sort of, like, imagine – what if this guy had resources and like a financial backing from a board that that you know is actually you know uh, um, allows him to get the players that he wants? You know what te- what type of team would that be? That's why it makes sense that after Xavi leaves Barcelona, like De Zerbi will definitely be part of the people that are the that that interviewing. You know, so so I I get I get I kind of you know for for that reason I kind of see where where Pav is coming from. Um, on that, mm. anyway, big up, good call though. Who else we got? Um, I don't know how to say this, so you say it, yeah. So, introduce to the next caller, bro, ladies and gentlemen, Kanyata, <laughs> brother. Why are you sitting yeah. in the dark? First of all, yeah, I can see your outline. You look like me when I turn Yo. the lights off. What are you doing, bro. blood? <laughs> bro, I'm Michael Blackson out here. Michael Blackson. <laughs> okay, I love that. Hold on, because I've got to do I'm, this I'm, now. I'm, I'm darker than this. midnight, bro. Oh, I'm darker than here. midnight. Come here. <laughs> exactly. Hey, come here, you punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing yeah. sitting in the uh, dark? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? I'm darker than midnight. Listen, listen, do you, need, do you want to talk about it? Let me talk about it, bro. I'm darker than uh, one past midnight, bro. Listen. <laughs> you, look- <laughs> you look like you look like underneath the you look like underneath the bed, fam. <laughs> Under- underneath the bed, fam, bro. <laughs> you know, bro. You shoot me the bullet is gonna come and say past the touchlight. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus is not. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, you know what? oh come on! Hey, listen, bro. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, nah, listen. Uh, let's get to it. Me, I'm just here. Look, Where? Are you, why? Are you, which part of the world are you calling from, by the way, Kenya? Yeah, from number one. Number one. Yeah, for real. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm Zambian and I live in Sweden, so uh, I'm, I'm in the hey. north. I'm in the bro. I'm in the north. Ah, yo, man, so I don't even know. Good, 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 good
Uchuan Wai. Sikit je. Alright. Alright, you know. Alright, 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 alright. But you're inside. Like, like, yeah, Is that what's going on? I'm, you got your internet. You I'm in my own You've only got to actually left to talk to us. Yeah? Alright, yes. quick. Alright. First, first thing first, uh, big up to you. Kobe man, oh man, this kid is is like Jeez. you know, like is a revelation, bro. Like the calmness, the, the chill on the ball. You know, there's these players today. I'm even doubting that kid that co- that scored at Wembley, Henrik. He's too excited. Kobe, bro. Kobe looks like a boy who is you know like too much experience in your you know the the CV. Like he's, you can't say he's a teenager the way he's handling himself. So that's you know what, Joe, say his name again and say what you just said again. Let's start from the beginning. Go. It's that Kobe Mano is just a baller and he's been a revelation. And kid, you're much more calm. And I just like I praise big ups to your parents because you look like you've been raised well. Like not taking things too far. Just chill, bro. Chill, oh man. So no, no. Let's that we need to start on a good note. But going to the bad, bro. This whole Ooh, story about so Southgate, bro. Look, this guy has not won any game with a big team. Any game that is any big team that he faces, he crumbles, bro. He wins with Macedonia and what we all know how England goes to these champ to these uh, uh, competitions through winning yeah. Macedonia this Estonia that da 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 da. As soon as they reach the big mm-hmm. comp, they face the big team, they crumble, and that's Southgate's mm-hmm. like CV. Nobody talks about it in the UK. They always keep a shy, blind eye to it. Eric Ten Hag is building something. Eric Ten Hag started well in his first season and obviously we've had so many injuries with the players that he was relying on obviously that's going to derail a, 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 a development that he had quite all right because of that and then it's a second so he's analyzed now he, you can you can tell that okay this is he's how learning. the premiership is he's learning exactly so this is a the, he needs now next season a a summer where he knows he can offload certain players. Dude is forced to play Maguire. He didn't want Maguire. He stripped the captaincy off him. What, and he what still more made do you want? Work, though, but he still made it, him it, work. It, but he season. still made him work. Exactly. So for me, people that are calling Eric Tenner, God, it's just people that just don't even understand football or just understand what management is all about. Because you cannot just plant a tree today and expect to harvest tomorrow. Hell no. You have to wait. You know? Do you imagine you with their Southgate yeah. fan? No, man. No way. There was, you at the moment, I can't. Do you know what? At the moment, I'm, I'm actually, to, at the, uh, the position that Manchester is, I don't see any manager who's more capable of turning things around, no matter how qualified, other than Eric Ten Hag. Let me explain that. Because he has stayed longer in the job. There's so many changes that are going on. We can't change the whole system and expect we need to give each ourselves another three four years we don't have that i've had almost a decade of a lifetime of misery no way the, mm. he's the only he should be the constant he should be now the constant change the director bring the football director whatever bring new owners uh, the radcliffe's but let eric be the constant it's two years yes that even makes him more qualified than the Zidans and Zagi Gisebis. It don't matter. Him, he has to be the constant because that's what's going to generate respect in the squad. Once there's respect in the squad for him because they know that he's here to stay, he's not gonna, they're, they're not going to outlast his contract, whatever, then they'll start respecting the manager because that's the problem we've always had. Leaks all over the squad, all over because of players thinking, I'm here on the long run than the manager. And that's been the, the, the problem with United. So if we can back him and Ineos backs him, that will bring stability in the, in the squad. That squad, the only problem it has, it has ballers. But the only problem is like the mentality is so 
amateur, like, because they are only thinking about as soon as this game is done, what bling am I going to walk out with? How, how am I going to, you know, how am I going to, like, post this, this new Vuitton thing that I'm wearing? No. You know what I mean? We need yeah. him to be yeah, the yeah. only constant person. Yeah. Real, real quick, does it does it uh, worry you that he allowed or agreed to the signing of Mason Mount or not? For me, to be honest, I don't even think he had anything to do with that signing. This is just my own personal opinion because I don't understand. I never understood that signing. We had Bruno, uh, 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 and we had other places where he could have reinforced, like the central mid. The the Mason Mount signing was just like wh- what was it? It, 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 I don't see him signing that, make or, or commissioning that signing. All right, I don't let me ask you this question it. about the Mason Mount yeah. signing, though. Yeah. Is it a bad signing? It's a terrible signing, but Mason Mount is not a bad player, first of all. This, what, that's what I'm here's the thing, say. yeah? Why yeah. is it a bad signing? I don't think we can actually judge the Mount signing yet. That's what I was going to try to get at, really, because I don't think we can actually judge the Mason Mount signing yet because we've not actually really seen him play a good run of games. Yeah, so why it's a bad signing is that... That's what I was saying, like, it's a terrible signing, but Mason Mount is not a bad player. It's because, like, I'll give you this uh, example, right? If you are in a bad terrain, like you're in a gravel road, if I give you a Lamborghini, bro, I'm with a Subaru Impreza, I will beat you, no matter how fast your Lamborghini is. We didn't need, we didn't need, you know, we didn't need a uh, uh, Mason Mount at that time. It was the terrain was not for signing like a Mount signing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And where yeah. it even went all bad is that you sign a, a, a player that's not for that period and even give him the number seven. What's his fascination of giving number seven? Let people earn the number seven. Mm-hmm. Let's, these new signings don't need to go and get the number seven. You need to be at least at the club two seasons to earn that n- number seven. You know? Yeah, that's you know, how I agree that's how with that be. one. Hundred percent with that one. The number seven yeah. jersey should be reserved for someone who earns it. Yeah, that's how yeah. I feel. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. That was the biggest mistake I think that was made with the Mason Mount signing because that's put a whole another level of pressure on him. Even though he wasn't even that bigger money signing, but absolutely. Yeah, giving him the number seven shirt, but- it just puts a whole another tax on him that he didn't need right away. Hundred percent. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, Ten Hag has talked so positively about Mason Mount. It was the first, first, quickest, like, signing that we had um, in a while where it just seemed like, you know, it it was a first target, you know. So, and we know that um, Ten Hag, or we can mainly speculate that, like, Ten Hag has at least some sort of, like, veto power in some of the signings. He may maybe may not be the person making the the actual like we're going for this target but he he you know he came in with very few coaches and and i think getting uh, in 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 order to sacrifice getting power in having a say in the signings so now ten hag is is sort of a little bit culp- you know culpable for this one a lot more culpable for this mason mount signing than than everything than we actually you know think you know yeah. so that's why for me like i think that one is a one of his biggest stains and maybe mason mount will come out and prove me wrong and be an actually really good player for yeah. us and he'll have a way to play him with bruno because i was thinking about him as a bruno replacement or bruno substitute mm-hmm. you know but a number seven doesn't sit on the bench so it's going to be interesting to see what happens if Bro, he actually- number seven six sixty million at that number seven it, it look and when you look at Ten Hag, Ten Hag has a reputation of not slating his players. He's always even spoken positively towards Maguire. Even when Maguire was doing like madness at, on the pitch, even like when you look at uh, Jason, uh, 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 Jaden Sancho situation, Jaden Sancho situation. It's only after that Arsenal game that probably, for me, I know Ten Hag was out of pocket to like you know say those words in that press conference towards press conference towards Jaden Sancho. Why? Yeah, yeah, because you know, Yeah, because No, no, listen, here's the thing you need to like for me, Jaden Sancho he didn't even play that game. So if a press 
calls out a player, no, why didn't you question the manager? Oh, why did you leave out this guy? Da, da, da. As a manager, he should have understood that he should have just, even if he knew that Jadon Sancho wasn't up to bar with uh, training in training session, he wasn't, as he answered, that he wasn't training well. He couldn't even make the squad because he was not training well. That's bad. Mm -hmm. So if you know that as a manager, those are things you don't bring out to the public like that. Because first of all, they undermine Jadon Sancho. They they, they destroy his stock. Jadon Sancho doesn't come only as Jadon Sancho. That's the 35 million thousand a week he gets. He comes in as an entity. That's an enterprise of Jadon Sancho. You cannot just go and slate it like that, especially as a manager. And in, in a game, he didn't even participate that we lost. He should have just said, no, Jadon Sancho was excused from the squad due to training or technical issues, period. Move on. We could have never had this whole Jadon Sancho issue at all. Rather than now you making this monologue of Jordan Sancho not training well, not, not being up to bar to reach the squad, why? Yeah. You lost. Now, that's why Jordan Sancho came out and said, don't use me as an escape code, man. You know what I'm saying? Although yeah. I'm not Boy. defending Jordan, although I'm not defending him coming as well in public saying that, but you can see who, be, who started the whole drama. It's the manager. The manager made a bad call. And then you want to put it so he but anyway, going back to what I was trying to say was that he even in the beginning he never really slated until that day any of his players. He's not known for that. So even the Mason Mount, while he backed him up in the beginning, I understand. That's like kind of like Eric Ten Hag's thing. Even when a player's doing bad, he's always gonna try and like back them up. So it was a little bit out of character when I saw him do that with Jaden Sancho. And no, since, bro. And, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna say this right and, now. Yeah, I'm a, you know what? Actually, yeah. what's it? Um, how do you say your name, bro? Kanyanta. Uh, Kanyanta. More like uh, Kanyanta. Jomo Kenyatta, but Kanyanta. Kanyanta. All right. Thank you for the call, bro. Yeah, it's nice. To, is your is your debut call, right? Yeah, it's my debut call on you, boys. Listen, I've been trying to get on this because I got my brother. Listen, I used to school in Gavaron in Botswana. You know what I'm saying? Bro, hey, 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 yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo hey, what you say? Bro. What you say? No, like, like hey, I love my brother's boys. Bro. So I've been trying to, like, I've been trying to get involved with you, boys. I've been like, like for a bit. So I'm always gonna be there. I just need to get my notification on so that I, I catch you guys. When I get your light bill, straight up, fam. Listen, listen, bend yourself for that. <laughs> <laughs> So please call in next time as well. We, listen, the more callers, the better. We're trying to make this as interactive as possible. Um, yeah. People, listen, um, listen. you know, I'm not very good with these names, bro. So how would you say this? So this is Kitsidile. It means I've lived. Kitsidile Mudise. With a, with a super chat, big up to you. I would, have, I would have butchered that name. I'm telling you right now. Do you want to hear what I was going to say? You said Ketsidile, right? Yeah. I was going to say Ketsidile. I was going to say Ketsidile. Get out of here, Oh, that is hilarious. And then what about the last, the last name? The name? That's what Ketsidile that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. That's how Jamaica would say that there. Yo, what I'm catching Nilly. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. No, but but uh Kitsidila says Eric Ten Hag will improve Mason Mount. Just wait. Hey, hey, we will be there, my brother. Oh, if and then that, another I... super chat from Kesha Dilly as well. Go on. Yeah, Kitsidile, Kitsidile, say it, Joe. Say it right. <laughs> Kitsidile. Exactly. <laughs> Right, oh, okay. you get better. I disagree with Jaden Sancho. He is not good. <sighs> he was well, disagreeing you know with you know what we did also miss another super chat with one of the guys that's waiting right now. Just read this one out real quick. Please. Yes, my first ever live stream as I'm always on night shifts. Love this channel. Hey, big up to you. Uh, Alua Den Hassan, Alua shout out to you. Hello, I did Hassan. I must have said that right. Tell me I said that yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, and you know I what? Think... Fam, we're going to ask him, yo, did I say that right? Hello, I did Hassan. Is that you, bro? Wait, can you hear me? I yes. can hear you now. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, did I say it wrong or did I butcher your name? Did I, did I, no. did I mess it up? Alu Adin, but you could call me Aladdin. 
Aladdin. Uh, you know, your name is Aladdin from now on. That's it. Where's the magic carpet? <laughs> uh, yo, Big up. Uh, yeah. Who do you support? Who do you support? Oh, uh, my guy. I support Man U. I support Man U. 100%. Hey, listen, can you, are you using headphones or something? Like, are you using like AirPods? No, 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 no. I'm on like loud. Right, speaker. because you sound like you're getting loud and then you're getting like far away. Oh, so okay. if you can, like, if you've got a microphone, you can hold it close to your mouth, hold it closer to your mouth if you can, yeah? Is that better, yeah? That's much better, yes. Okay. Hey, and, okay. and, and, uh, Mr. Hassan, where are you calling from, by the way? Where are you at? Which part of the world? East London, mate. Hey. East London, <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. Well, listen, did you, well, have you been here from the start of the show? Yeah, yeah, I've been here from the start of the show. Yeah, but yeah, first, you got to yourself. Like, Listen, first time caller though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, first time caller. Perfect. Listen, love to hear it. Talk to me, bro. What are you saying you're then? Bad ugly. You're bad ugly. Ugly. What are you thinking about this week's subjects? Um, what did you think about um hearing that Gareth Southgate could possibly be the Man United new manager? As I, a Man United fan. I don't think that's actually true. I think that the media is so against Eric Ten Hag, and they had like stuff waiting for him in case he lost that final. Uh, not final, sorry, the Liverpool game. I think they already had stuff planned for him, uh, like to get sacked. But I in terms of they wanted to sack him, you mean, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because he won, I feel like this whole uh, like there's a whole agenda against Eric Ten Hag. And to be honest with you, if it means having Southgate being pushed in our faces then yeah so I, don't think it's, I don't think it's actually true I, I don't think i don't think i can't see in your hiring southgate like it would not make sense bro you know what's crazy like um even like a legends like even you know club legends like like um um roy keen gary neville like almost also feeling to this situation saying like you know like Roy Keane said I could see that happening obviously everyone's thinking that Gareth Southgate is going to be with England this summer if he has a good championship but you know thinking if they could win it and if they don't then maybe yeah they're thinking of run your race so so he was just saying that like maybe like after after like this Euros we might end up just be, you know being the United manager Roy Keane Bro, how does how did he... you <laughs> wait? Can you, you know, hear bro, me? Yeah? That was the stupidest thing I ever heard. Yeah, I'm not being yeah. funny yet. But you know what? Look, look, let's just be real. From what we just witnessed, nobody in the world could think that Ineos could hire Dale Southgate and not get ridiculed. Yeah, let's just be yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. I... if they hire Gareth Southgate, bro, you know. You know, I'm like one of the main leaders of the THDL, bro, yeah? Ten Hag Defense League, yeah? So if anybody gets into the club and get rid of Ten Hag next season, they better be supreme. Yeah, they better be some sort of elite manager. Because if you don't at least win one cup in your first season, I'm on to you. Yeah, I'm going to be that kind of bitter, bitter guy, bro. I'm just going to be looking for any mistake you make. And that's what you don't want to have. I'm coming in as a new manager. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want half yeah. the fan base to be already scrutinizing you like the media have been doing with Eric Ten Hag this whole season and last season, by the way. Yeah, they've just been scrutinizing yeah, Ten Hag. Yeah, nobody wanted Ten Hag here. Like, what? But anyway, I don't know what the problem is with the English media, but like, nobody wanted Ten Hag here. Yeah, we wanted Hodge. Oh, I just want to quickly say about Eric Ten Hag. Um, just on the good as well, like I just want to say that I think he deserves a lot more credit than he that he's getting now, because imagine being a manager of Manchester United and you're having to deal with the whole Ronaldo, the whole Jadon Sancho, the whole Harry Maguire, situation. like there's so much he's had to deal with and, and, and do you know what I mean? there's a lot he had to deal with and to be fair it was bad during the season. As part of the season where it was bad, but you can see that he's actually fought through it a lot. Like obviously he got things wrong. I I, I would admit that, but but like fair enough. Like like this is actually one of the biggest jobs you can have in football. And, 
And I can't, very few managers could do, I think, a better job than he did this season. But it, definitely he could have done things a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. And I agree with that, yeah. You know what? And as a member of the THDL, yeah. Ten how the first league. THDL, yeah. <laughs> I'm say every time. As a member of the THDL, yeah. I will say that he is not without criticism, people. Please don't think that I'm saying that the man has no room for criticism. Yeah. We have to be critical. Um, we have to be critical of every man at the club. Yeah. We have to look at their thoughts and we have to look at their short thoughts. And for me, yeah. yes, Ten Hag has made some big mistakes. And I still think he's good. And I know people are trying to say that oh, it's his second season, so he shouldn't be learning anymore. But what do you mean? Every day is a school day. Yeah, every day is a school day, bro. You need to be on job every day. You can learn something new every day. You can find it, figure out a new way to beat them. Look, we figured out a way to not get beaten 7 0 by Liverpool, haven't we? Yeah, we figured out a way to not let Liverpool beat us, haven't we? They've not beat us this season. Yeah, so clearly he's gotten better than last season. Surely, would you not agree? Uh, 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 is it okay if I just quickly say one last good thing? Because my phone. Of course, bro. See your piece. Uh, I I would like to say that this might be a bit reckless, but I might I'm gonna say Kobe Main is one of our players this season. I think he's up there. What do you mean, that is, bro? That is a good <laughs> take. What do you mean? <laughs> Kobe Main is one of our players of the season. We've been there with the talks of um, Garnacho, Hoyland, them three players, them three youngsters, by the way, are collectively our players of the season, including Dallow as well, because his his emergence this season has just been amazing. Yeah, no one can tell me those four players. Yeah, those those four players have to be up for player of the season. Yes. And I don't know who else yes. takes it. I don't think there's anybody else that. It's just mainly, I think, has single-handedly carried that midfield. Like, more or less, it's chopping and chain, he's carried that midfield. Like, I think he's up there as player of the season. And I just don't want another Pedri situation where he's played, like, 70 games a season and then he gets injured. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, I, I hope he gets some midfield for him. That's what we need, you know. We need cover, bro. Hey, Alwadin, did I say it right? Yeah. I like yeah, him. Yeah, I'm just fully yeah, like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hassan, big up, bro. Pick up yourself, bro. Yeah, thank you for the call, bro. Do you want to say anything before you leave? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No? <laughs> I'm gonna go because it's like the first time I've called it. Uh, big up yourself, yeah. though, bro. Hey, thank you for calling in, bro. Hey, listen, yeah. thank you for everybody that's called in today. Um, yeah, first time callers today, Joe. That was that was I like you know, know, I don't mind the late, you know. I was gonna say we needed to move the show to an earlier show, but you know what? I like the late callers, yeah. We're getting some, we're getting some um, <laughs> new callers. We need AG had these callers before, we're bringing in a new right. audience to the scene, so I'm liking it. We can keep up this late time thing, maybe we can do a late one and an early one. How about that? KG, hey, don't have no now you're talking, now you're talking. <laughs> Shout out to the Australian New Zealand. Zealanders that are also tuning in and everybody that's tuning in right now don't forget to hit the like button if you're just here and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe we are co-streaming to Joe's chat are we streaming to your channel as well Joe? we are you're damn right I am yeah hell yeah I am backhand entertainment we're also streaming to my channel as well football power hour so make sure you subscribe to all three KG the comedian as well so um yeah joe that was that was a really good call from uh mr hassan big up to luca afc arsenal fan in the building you know hey, hey, hey hold on i was about to end the show you know i'm not gonna lie yeah but someone just no. pulled up yeah, real quick before, yeah. before you end the show yeah, we have to uh, say we have to say thank you to uh for the super chat to um um ahmed saying um for the kg koglu transfer fund ten hag defense league in the house <laughs> 
Hey, listen. No rap with the Defence League, you know. Hey, listen. T-H-D-L. Hey, listen. By the way, the T-H-D-L meetings will be held every Monday. I think we're going to be going live every every Monday, 5 o'clock, evening meetings. I might make it a little bit later, but we'll definitely get it ironed out where we've got a meeting every Monday. T-H-D-L. You must be there. Be there or be square, fam, yeah? On Backhand Entertainment, enjoy me. The THDL meeting as the THDL general, yeah. Yes, I lead these meetings, yeah. KG will be there sometimes, he's promised. We'll see, we'll see. Come on, just turn up to cuss us then, if that's the case, in it. Just be there to cuss us. Yeah, I don't okay. care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, listen, um, yes, I'm about to bring in one person, one person, one person. Let hey, my brother. My Jamaican brother, how are you doing, Kurt? What are you saying, bro? I've got to speak a bit quiet and kiss me. I don't want to wake them up. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? Yeah, right. Low level tones, you know what I'm saying? Yes. All right, yeah. all right. You get closer to the phone. Yeah. Can, can you, get you hear me all right? Yeah, we can hear you just about. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Good stuff. How are you doing, bro? I'm all right, man. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. My woke up just as I was going to bed. So blame this guy because he's in America, fam. We got to do the late night streams because of this I guy. Know. You know, Bruh, no, 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 no. Because of our Australian, you know, um, you know, market. So shout out to Australia. Let, let, big Australian up to market. Big up Australia all the time. What about England, fam? We're in England, fam. Yeah, it's late, fam. Yeah, I we got it's London. London. <laughs> Sunday London. over here, bro. Because now, what's good? What's bad? What's ugly, bro? I'm good, bro. <laughs> all right, what's good? Yeah, and no one's yes. mentioned, bro. We beat Liverpool. Oh. Yes! Sir! Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Do you know how mad the media are that we won that game? Because that's why, quite star. You just you just took this to the next level because the whole reason why Southgate got so much traction is because there was no not enough Ten Hag negativity to spin this whole week, you know. Exactly. Yeah, but that's what I love though. Finally, they have to just recognize the greatness, bro. And this is why I like Ten, Eric Ten Hag shutting the media's mouth, fam. Because one thing people have to realize as well, yeah. I said it, um, I think, on one of the other callers' uh, section when I was saying that yeah. nobody in the English media wants Ten Hag to succeed from the well, very they, beginning. It's not even just Ten Hag, bro. It's Man United. They don't want Man United to succeed. No, it's, you're right, us. actually. It's Man United. But they, they were a lot us. easier on Oli, though. They were a lot easier on Oli, though. Yeah? Don't you think? Okay. His teammates were, but the rest of them weren't. Bro, people were easier on Oli, you know? Even to the point, look, do you know what, yeah? The, the, the cause for someone to be out, yeah, a manager to be like, oh, he's not doing so. It was, it took a long time for them to say that about Oli, fam. It took to Oli's mm. third test before they said that about Oli, yeah? yeah? The whole media thing, yeah? Eric Ten Hag won something in his first season and they're already clouting him in the second season, fam. Yeah. It's a, bro, like, we ruined too many childhoods for these lot, in it, Like, too many days going to school upset because their team lost to That's us. True. Seeing us lifting trophies after trophy after trophy. So the, now that we're doing bad, they can't wait to rub it in. And every little thing we do, they make it 10 times worse than it actually is because we're Man United. And that's it. 100%. 100%. So, so I don't, yeah. I, to be fair, to the point where I kind of just zone out of most of the media because it's like, bro, do you really think Southgate's coming? Hell no! Hell, oh, hell no! You know what that is? That's a. That's what that is. <laughs> but stories have to run in it, and they need to. Man United brings clicks. It brings all that stuff mm -hmm. that it brings attention mm -hmm. to them. So that's what happens. But you see how they've changed the narrative of if we would have lost that game to Liverpool, there'd have been so much coverage of the game. But we beat oh, Liverpool. Yeah. Let's just switch it to oh, Southgate's going to be the new manager. I don't know how they're not playing that clip of like Klopp losing his shit. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Imagine that's if, what I've managed, imagine like if that. Ten Hag did that. Talk sport. Bro, with Ten Hag did that. special. Oof. Bro. <laughs> he took the man's microphone. If nobody 
Taking that like, nobody like he committed theft on camera, bro. Yeah, he Man, said, you gonna do that. He said, What are you gonna do about your mic? Yeah, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> and no one is talking about it, but it's okay, you know what? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We see that we see that um the, the divide between Man United, Liverpool, and everybody else, in it, yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. hates Man United, yeah. Man United That's is it. the collective man, the collective hate. Yeah, from everybody else, we feel it. Yeah, so it's all right. We can manage that. We've been doing it for years. But the only thing I want to see is now, yeah, we're the underdogs now, bro. Yeah, but nobody wants to treat us that way. They just want to keep kicking us down. Of course, yeah. of course. And they love to, like, um, I remember when I realised how deep it was, I was listening to um, Andy Mitten talk, and he said that, low, like, three national media outlets said, will you speak to us tomorrow if Man United lose? He said, what if we win? He's like, ah, oh, no, we don't need to talk to you then. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, right here, man. Wow. No way. Yeah. Is that what happened? That's Did what I miss he said. That? Andy Mitten? Yeah. Tier one Mitten. I have to look that up. That's crazy. Bro, and that's the truth. They don't care when we win. They make other stories. But when we lose, it's the biggest thing ever. Mm -hmm. but, of course. but yeah. anyway, only I'm still high off that win still they just yeah. want to taste our tears yeah that's why we get so excited yeah that's why we act the way we do yeah because everybody's always here for our tears that's what it is they Bro, want to see hey hey the door never ignored bro. we're the biggest team in the world man and I still feel yeah. that way and that's the reason why we still feel that way you know because people hate us so much yeah but yeah, anyway, cool. Cool stuff. Yeah, that's that's the good, bad, ugly all mixed into one. I think so. Yeah. Yes, that 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 was that. Yeah, no, that was a great, great um um concoction. <laughs> good, bad, ugly. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, <laughs> hey, we'll look after the kids, bro, and be a good daddy. Yeah, big up yourself, my brother. Catch you in a bit, boys. Peace. Hey. Big shout Listen. out. Big shout out. What's one of happy? It's been a good show, you know. It's been a lovely show. I want to also say shout out to Jonathan in the chat. Shout out to Jarvis Cocker in the building. You know, men, men like Jarvis. Also, Luca, we already said shout out to you anyway. But everybody that's been commenting and like just going with the conversation in the chat, we appreciate you guys and we encourage you guys and invite you guys to be, um, you know, with us even more. Hey, Bernal the Red says, good work. Big up to you as well. You know, happy Saturday, yo, fam. So, yeah, no, this was, this was like oh, such a... Super chats as well. Ooh, oh, what? Kenyatta in the building with another super chat just saying super chat, you know. So, <laughs> big up to you, fam. You know, uh, guys, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you know every time there is like, you know, content being uploaded from this channel, from KG's channel. So, you know, support, support um, the big homie, the original Reckless Don. So, you know, thank you so much for being here. I think, I think, um, um, wait, no, yo, yo, what did he say? <laughs> Joe, address that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo, yo. Hey, uncle's hiding from us at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, uncle's in hiding for the things that he said. So, Alex Fred is gonna take you with him. Uh, I thought uncle could come and address it himself. Yeah, leave that alone. He said he don't like it. Who told you that he don't like it? Who told you? Fam likes it anyway. Any, <laughs> you keep being dishes. You, you are a very bad boy, Joe. You know. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, but, but Alex, leave Alex alone, fam. He's enjoying himself. Listen, anyway, it's been a great show, people. Big up yourself. Hey, make sure you join um, Football Power Hour every Friday, by the way, at ten o'clock UK time for the um for the what what do you call it again? The Football Power we Hour. Play, we play Friday happy hour. We play a quiz. We play a football yeah football quiz trivia game. You know through Kahoot. And um, really yeah, guys, I almost got podium. I almost got podium this week, but I missed out by like oh, a couple hundred no. points. Next time, next time, you bottled it like Arsenal, you know. So, sorry. 
<laughs> but <laughs> it's 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 me, bro. Yeah. Joe, Trust we're me. almost. Joe, guess what? We're almost, almost at 1K, bro. Less than 20. Hey. Yes. yes, come on, guys. By the way, yeah, listen, please go and find Football Power Hour. Yeah, on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Get my guy bots to 1,000 subscribers. And if he gets to 1,000 subscribers, he has to do a fourth hit because he's part of the community. That's what we do when you get to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, so I beg you, let's get him to 1,000 subscribers and we can get him to do something crazy. We can make him eat a chip. We can make him... I don't know what else, but I think what I want him to do is eat one of them hot, 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 hot chips. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Yo, speaking of hot chips, has have you gone to Nando's? Have you tried the Saka uh, sauce? Bro, I ain't eating nothing cool Saka sauce, fam. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, yo, let's stop it. Let's yeah, stop this show right cool Saka sauce. Hey, yo, what are you talking to, fam? <laughs> you know, like, the Nando's, bro. The Nando's. I'm not eating nothing cool another man's sauce. Yeah, I don't care. Nando's what the hell is sauce, bro. bro. Eating. And then I the want to eat Joe's sauce. You think I'm gonna eat Joe's sauce, fam? I'm not eating no man's sauce. Blo- anyway, you know, you know, okay. you know, the stream. I don't we should end the show on this somewhere I don't want to go. And I'm a- so, I don't care. Care about that? End the show right now, Joe. Ah, you crazy, bro.